Alrighty, folks, we are back once again with Brianak, who's doing the Sega Rally 2 Championship run. So, Brianak, without further ado, take it away. Yeah. Uh, welcome again. Uh, I am Brianak95, and I have uh, once again with me Alpha Max Noah 1, which will help me a lot with the commentary here. This is Sega Rally 2. It's a rally game from Sega, and it's the second chapter of the, of the rally franchise. And the category I'm gonna yes. do is uh, called the Championship Mode, uh, it's, which it's is a game is so good that they actually made it in real life a ah, thing called Rally, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, um, the category is the Championship Mode, which basically consists into uh, going through four tracks of the game, which are called Desert, Mountain, Snowy, and Riviera. Uh, by completing uh, one lap on the first three tracks and two laps on the last one. Uh, yeah, we, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna start right away, and I'm gonna let Alpha Max Now One do the commentary for me because I need some some concentration for uh, playing, basically. So we're gonna we're gonna, st we're gonna start when. Uh, when the countdown of the first track starts, so basically when when the when the announcer says go on the first track, so I'm gonna insert a coin because I'm actually playing uh, not not on a real cabinet obviously, <laughs> but I'm playing I'm on sure, an emulator. I'm sure about that. <laughs> I'm playing on a on an emulator, which is the Super Model Three, which is actually really accurate with the cabinet. But yeah, I'm gonna insert a coin and play the championship mode. Uh, the car I'm gonna pick is the Peugeot 306 Maxi, which is the fastest one of the pack, which is also the one that steers uh, uh, the least. The least. So, let's name ourselves... ourselves... Uh, M. MRC? I don't know. MCR. MCR, I think, is better for McCrayton. Uh, oh, yeah. And then she can take over from yeah. Because so as I said, as I said, the countdown, like the the timer starts when the announcer says go. So three, two, two, one, one, go, go. And so this is the first track of Sigur Rally 2, which is desert, and as you may see, is actually in the desert. This is actually a pretty game, uh, great game for 1998, especially for the graphics, as you can see the helicopter enemy, enemy actually opposite uh, cars that try to race you down during the whole championship mode, and also very very uh, lot of a lot of graphical details. So the first track is actually really easy. If you're skilled enough, you can actually do it without even touching, touching the brake or even just le lefting off the throttle. And as you can see right now, Brunak is just speeding past everything, just especially the old trick, which are, you know, 3D animals, which is, again, quite impressive for 1998. And yeah. right now we are nearby the last two corners of this track. Uh, again, Secret Rally 2 is a really short game, and it should be considering it's an escape. This corner is actually quite tricky because it's really easy to get uh, um, against the wall here. But as you can see, it's no problem for someone who runs this game. And now <laughs> it's the last straight, and here we go, cones and... First track, gone. Yeah, I first out of four. finished this uh, in a pretty good time, 56 and 60, which is actually pretty good, uh, to be fair. And now we get to the to the second track, which is actually mountain, as as you can guess, guess what, is on a mountain. And this is the first place where we can actually experience different kind of track uh, conditions, which is uh, mainly uh, dirt, people running off the road, and most importantly, um, gravel, which is, uh, oh sorry, not gravel, uh, it's actually tarmac, which is more grippy. But also um, kind of harder under some point of view because since you're running a dirt uh, and rally car, you actually expect more like to drift around the corners. While right now you are going like a, a Formula One car to the corners. Yeah. Right uh, now there's one of the most uh, difficult corner of this track, which is the Happen, which is going right now, and is bent on masterfully. And now the back straight, which is full of left and right corner, which is also quite uh, difficult if you're not experienced. But once again, if you know how to play this game and you played it long enough, you really know how to make this part of the track too. Uh, also, one thing you may notice is that uh, uh, opposite cars, uh, or at least the cars we try to overtake, won't spawn um, all, of, all at the same time. Right now we are in uh, P6, 6th uh, position, and this is the maximum we can achieve in this, uh, in this uh, stage, which is <laughs> right now gone in 1 minute and 1 second. 
Yeah, it's actually it's it's a pretty good time. And one thing I want I want to add, one thing one yeah, thing that I want to add is that from the second track onwards, uh, opposite cars actually become a problem because they actually get in in the way. I wanted yeah. just to add anyway. that. Anyway, here we go, and here we are in hell, also known as Snowy. <laughs> this place is hard as hell, and trust me, when I say this place is hard, I mean it. Your car slides everywhere, it's very narrow, and people just run everywhere, which actually is not really a problem because they, you can't hit them. Or, I mean, you can try, but trust me, you, you really won't be able to hit them. And also there are opposing cars, which will be kind of a problem because they can actually push you off track. Uh, now we'll see if the Lancer Stratos will actually take off like they did some time so. Uh, Almost. It kind, of, kind of did. <laughs> but Brio also lost a little bit of time here yeah, because he hit the wall, which can happen because this is a hot track. People running off the track once again. And now we the, height, the highest position you can achieve here, if I don't remember uh, wrong, is it's fourth, fourth position. Yeah, it's fourth position, yeah. yeah. So yeah. right now we are on time and just a few corners left and we're gonna get into the end of this stage two which is once again i think it's the hardest one of the bunch because the next one which is riviera it's actually not too hard to be honest compared to the to this one. i'm not so sure about that because there are two hairpins and to take them correctly you have to do a technique which is called wall turning which is basically turning inside the wall to get slowed down by the by the wall uh and basically not needing to break too much but you exactly. will still need to break uh, and use both brakes and handbrake there. And there it comes, the first of the two happens. Uh. And as you may actually notice, if you are actually careful enough, this is actually Monaco, which is, you know, a real place. Uh, you know, this track was so good that they made it real. And uh, once again, <laughs> he's trying right now to get up the fourth position that he's missing to get into the first place. And now into Raskas for the second and last happen of this first lap. And here we go into second place, and we're almost into first place. One lap to go, and 16 seconds, which are gonna become 49, which is yeah. more than enough to run. To this lap run. could have been better, and then the car ahead can actually be a problem now. But let's see. Happy mm. done. Let's try and see if they uh, take you back, but I don't think so. And I think now all that's left to do is take the left right corner of the swim from chicane right and left right now, and now into Raskas for the last two corners, and this run is basically done. So last corner right here, and we can yeah, count down we for can time. count down for three, two, two, two one, one. Here we go. Time. Time. Yeah. That was a really fast run. Uh, I got a 4:02, which is actually a pretty good time. But my personal best on this game is actually three minutes and 58 seconds and 50 tenths of a second, which is actually pretty good. But yeah. This is the end of the run. I, I guess we can actually watch the credits. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's actually quite nice because it includes parts of the replace of the various tracks, so it's, it's cool to see. Yeah. Uh, once again, I would like to thank Alpha Max Nova for commenting and this time for for <laughs> basically commenting uh, almost all the run. I, w I wanted to be a, li a little bit concentrated while I, while I was doing this because. Uh, Mistakes do matter a lot in this game, and so yeah. Once again, yeah, thanks I mean, to Alpha tr trust, trust me, hitting the wall here in this game can lost you, uh, can cost you a lot of lot of time. So <laughs> it's uh, it's important to get concentrated while playing Sigur Yeah. Uh, uh, so, so you're almost a 4:59, literally just before five minutes altogether, RTA wise. I mean. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, and nice. here we go with the. Game over, yeah! <laughs> I was gonna say, what would be Sega Rally without the game over, yeah? What it really? Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. This, this is one. This is one of the most iconic game over screens ever. I think it's so cool. <laughs> But yeah, uh, thanks again f f to everyone who was watching, to everyone to actually have donated to my to my previous run as well. Uh, thanks to the uh, Macre at on stuff as well for having me uh, for both runs, both Distance and Sagrali too. Uh, and yeah, see if that's all for me. No worries. Thank you very much again, Brian and of course to Alpha as well uh, for entering our event and obviously for, well, entering, participating, call it whichever you wish. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've like, obviously as, as far as uh, as far as runs go, believe it or not, I've never seen the end of Sega Rally 2, so that'll be the first time I've ever seen the end of that game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Championship. <laughs> I, I, I played Sega Rally 2 not too long ago. I think last weekend I was playing it on an actual arcade machine. So it's uh, it's, it's weird to see it actually like to, to see it like to play it on a on a physical arcade and obviously then to see a run of it I'm like okay damn I've got a lot of catching up to this. <laughs> um, not just that but the Persia as well. Like I. I, I had a hunch that the Persia had some sort of uniqueness to it, but I didn't think it would be like as quick as, say, I don't know, the Mitsubishi Lancer or the, or the, Integra, the Lancer Delta Integrale or something like that. Um, but yeah, maybe. Who knows? You might end up... Be... I've got to say, so uh, when's the... Uh... Sega Rally Trifecta then, the first to the third games of arcade. I was actually thinking of uh, submitting uh, Sega Rally Trifecta at some point, because uh, I actually know all the games. Like, I know how to complete all the games uh, um, by being fierce. Obviously, I I am actually nowhere close to world record on all of those, but I am actually, actually have a, a lot of knowledge about the games. But yeah, maybe I will submit a trifecta at some point. Uh, there's actually one plus uh, thing. Uh, there was <laughs> as long as it's not the seven years championship because that that stuff is like one hour long. Of yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that that's a bit too long. But yeah, there's actually one uh, one last thing I want to I uh, want to add. You were talking about the cabinet of Segarly Two. At some point, I actually wanted to own a cabinet, but for now, like space problems and uh, o o also. Uh, I don't have I don't have enough money to to buy a real cabinet, but it would be so cool. At least I had the chance to, to try it once. But yeah, I think we we can we can actually take a little bit of time to explain one <laughs> funny thing, which is the fact that um, running Cigarelli 2 on emulator or the real arcade versus running it on uh, Dreamcast or the PC version is actually different because they have different kind of physics. Yeah, so it's, it's quite funny. slightly different actually. They, it, they are, the Dreamcast version is actually very uh, similar to the arcade version, but yeah, yeah, that, that's basically all. So yeah, that, that's all for me. Yep, no problem. Uh, like I said, once again, I just want to quickly thank Brian Akinalfa for participating and uh, for doing your, both of your runs for doing the distance and the Sega Rally 2 run. We really appreciate it. Um, before we go as well, just quickly want to mention that we are going to... Um, have a bit more of a longer intermission between this run and the next run, simply because of the fact that A, we've got time to do so, uh, but B, obviously, it's a case of not not just letting the not just letting the schedule catch up, but uh, to get a bit longer and to ease into the next run a bit more. So uh, the next intermission might be a slight bit longer than usual, but um, yeah, feel free to stick around, top your engine oil up, or put fuel in your cars, whatever you need to do. Uh, be sure to. Do whatever it is that you do during intermissions. <laughs> and uh, yeah, when we come back, we will have Art of Rally, uh, the Free Realm Collectibles All Maps by Erdis, I believe it is. Uh, so yeah, until then, we will be back very, very shortly. See you soon. Good luck for the next rounder. See you soon. See ya. <laughs>